a guest. Although, I don't remember inviting you. Yet, a pleasant surprise indeed. Please don't mind the fact that you can't see me at the moment. I'm not exactly presentable. I wasn't prepared for your arrival. I suppose you were seeking shelter from the blizzard. <laughs> Saw this wondrous castle and thought, well, obviously no one lives there. I think I'll stay however long I'd like and stay cozy until this storm blows over. How very ignorant. <laughs> I only tease, darling. By all means, you are welcome in this sanctuary of mine. I'm afraid I don't have any fire going at this time. Please forgive me. I rather like the cold. I shall be sure to start a fire immediately. Continue up the stairs to your right. Further on your right, there will be a reading room. I'll light the fireplace in there. But count down from 60 seconds in your head before doing so. I want to make sure everything is presentable. Go ahead. Begin your countdown. I see you have already made yourself home. I hope you're enjoying the exalted chair, the warmth of the fire, and the delicious entrees set upon the tray beside you. Do you mind if I join you, darling? Why, thank you. I am aware this is my domain, but I did not want to be among unwanted company. Please, continue filling your belly as I take a seat across from you. Ah, there we are. Truly is comfortable at this time of night. Isn't it? I beg your pardon? Oh, my mask. <laughs> How silly of me. Please pay no mind to it. It's more of a confidence builder for me. It has been much time since I've had pleasurable company. As for you, with a face like yours, you must get a lot of eyes upon you, if not roses at your feet. <laughs> yes, as I mentioned before, I am the owner of this humble abode. Oh, how rude of me, I never bothered to introduce myself. I suppose we are even now. <laughs> Excuse my jests. I am Lord Nos, Duke of Ishted. May I ask your name and inheritance? Hmm, you must not be from around this part of the world. I only presume by your name and lack of inheritance. Tell me, if you would, what brings you here to this frozen hellscape? You weren't sent here by the city beyond the mountains, were you? Excellent. I don't care much for those inhabitants. It just means you are all but more welcome here. But please, continue with your purpose in these lands. You're looking for powerful magic items. 
I wonder whatever for. Are you a treasure hunter? A mage? Or perhaps a glory-seeking adventurer? Any one of those? No? Hmm. Then please do share. You can't say. I see this would be a breach of your privacy then. Yet, you did come here breaching mine. I won't pursue any further. Instead, tell me what brought you to this part of the mountain. Why climb all the way up here? You sense a powerful magic? Interesting. So you do possess some magic yourself. You must have a thousand questions. I'll do my best to answer them. To begin? No. I am not aware of any items that carry immense magic. If there was, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Never mind what I mean by that. Am I the only resident in this castle? <laughs> no. I have many servants and retainers that also take residence here. I just simply told them to remain in the rooms and the barracks. I didn't want to scare away my unexpected guests. They are most loyal, but some of them have a... My word, how should I put this? A mean mug, if you will. <laughs> if you were to stay here longer, then the chances of you meeting them would rise, of course. But I never judge my servants by the way they look. Only by the initiative they take and the orders they follow. Do you serve anyone, darling? Or perhaps have servants yourself? No? Hmm, perhaps that can change. Well, surely you must have had a teacher or a master to show you the ways of using your abilities. Ah, I knew it. And now you're all on your own. Making a place for yourself in this world. By finding these powerful magic items. So, tell me about this magic you sense. Oh, it's very close. <laughs> How embarrassing if it was right under my nose. Maybe it is not magic you are sensing. Maybe your master forgot to teach you a thing or two. I was only teasing, no need to show anger. My, my, how touchy. How long have I lived here? <laughs> a long time. This castle actually used to belong to my master. Before him was his master, who was a baroness at the time. But she passed away later on from illness. Then my old master took over, took me in, and taught me much about the world. Such as, just because the hen feeds you, doesn't mean that it can't hurt you. And he would continue teaching me these lessons until one day. This horrendous accident befell him. A true tragedy. Then I simply became lord of these lands after his death. Yes. 
I am the lord of these lands. The warden. <laughs> no, no, no. I simply allow him to believe that he rules these lands. There is none that I bow to. He is more than welcome to prove me otherwise. I'd be happy to correct him. Now enough about history and politics. It quite bores me. Tell me, do you go climbing mountains looking for artifacts for fun? Sounds like too much work. I'd much rather other hobbies, to be quite honest. Well, of course I have hobbies. How can one entertain the idea of just sitting on a throne for the rest of their lives? I enjoy playing my lyre. Sparring with my retainers is actually quite fun on its own. Lately, I've been using the claymore in... It is invigorating. I am one that usually prefers long swords or great axes, but I thought I should branch out to other weapons. When I wish to tone down, usually towards evening, I read historical texts and correct them if necessary. And between you and I, Painting exotic scenery is a new passion of mine. <laughs> oh, pardon me. What was it that you were about to say, my dear? Oh, please don't mention it. How can a soul such as I refuse shelter for someone such as yourself? I would practically be the devil. You are most welcome here. It surely has been wonderful to speak with you. I only wish I could be more of a host and help you find what you are looking for. Is there anything that I'm looking for? Not necessarily, no. I'm quite comfortable. I do hunger time to time. But that is another topic. Something I need. Now, that is a good question. And perhaps I have an answer. I am indeed grateful for my servants, guards, and of course my retainers. But... I always feel as if there's something missing, and it is someone who I can call mine. In short, it would truly make me happy to find a betrothed. Someone who I can talk to, share sweet passions with. Someone who reminds me what it's like to be alive again. But. I suppose that may be asking for too much, wouldn't you agree? Oh, and is there someone in your life that comes to mind? I see. My apologies. I did not mean to presume. It's just that. You are so wondrous to look at. I thought someone must have taken an interest in you. Well, patience is key, I suppose. At least I hope it is. Me. No, no. There was someone in my life. Or at least I thought there was. But that is no longer a concern to me. I look forward to what the future has in store for me. You think I'm handsome? <laughs> you haven't even seen my face. What if I'm hideous? 
My personality is handsome. Is it? Well, that's very kind of you to say. If I did not know any better, I believe you were courting me. <laughs> I jest, of course. You are open to the idea. Ma? This is certainly unexpected. I would love to accept. It's just that you seem as if you do not stay in one place for more than a certain amount of time. True, I suppose you can be convinced otherwise. Very well. I accept this. And the courting shall commence. Why don't we celebrate with a toast? Allow me. I'm glad I had a good bottle tonight. What shall we make cheers to? Ah, good. Not to mention clever. To the lessons we will learn together. Ah. Well, we will have quite a day ahead of us tomorrow. I will have to plan and prepare for events and activities. Not to mention, I absolutely need to give you a door. You can't stay. Ah, the artifacts you're looking for. And I suppose when you do find them, you will come back. <laughs> now, you are toying with me. However, I believe you are mistaken. I said you are most welcome here. I never said you may leave at your choosing. I had different plans for you earlier, but I changed my mind. But now... I will have you confined in your new quarters. You will have all the necessities to be comfortable. And would only be able to come out on my work. Oh. Your answer was no. <laughs> Dear darling. I'm not going to harm you. At least for now. If I wanted to, I could drain every drop of life from you in but a mere whisk of my hand. But you have been great company, so at least I want to show you my appreciation. I acknowledge your answer and provide you with a lesson from my old master once taught me when I first met him. Don't. Take a drink from someone you just met. <laughs> Don't fret. My guards will escort you safely to your quarters. Well, more accurately, carry you. Either way, I shall be turning in for the night. I'll need plenty of preparation for tomorrow. Sleep well, darling. I look forward to getting to know you more personally. 